own team as a manager who's worked his way up through the football pyramid. Just wanted to get your take on the scrapping of FA Cup replays right from the first round onwards. Yeah, as a, obviously you're right. I'm managed in League Two, so I have complete empathy with teams in the in the EFL, and and, and I I know the value um, that replays can bring. You know, we played Bolton. We had a replay earlier this season as well, and I know Bolton are a bigger club on the way back under Evo. Um, but I know it's valuable to them, you know, the replay as well. So I have complete empathy uh, and can understand, you know, club's frustrations. And on the other side, I can see with the fixture schedule that's coming next season, especially our European te teams that are going to be in European competitions, you know, it's not impossible to be able to get the replays in. So I can understand both sides of it. Um, so, yeah, tough on for EFL clubs at the moment. Um, but, you know, I didn't make that decision, unfortunately. From a club's perspective, do you think that Luton, obviously the aim long term for Luton is to become an established Premier League club, but Luton will always have empathy with the pyramid because of where you've been over the last 10, 15 years? I think so. You know, I think, you know, we, uh, we'll have an understanding certainly because of our journey. Uh, and I think hopefully that's what I've tried to get across there in that, you know, my answer. Let's talk injuries then because it was down to the very bare bones at the Etihad and it has been for a while. How are you looking? Yeah, still that way, still that way. Um, we've had progress this week, um, but whether that means there can be progress actually on the pitch now is, is another thing. So I don't anticipate too many changes, but we're, we are making progress. So we're hoping in the coming games that we can uh, see some of those players coming back, but it'll be difficult for tomorrow. Just to, to rattle through a few of the names then who were sort of borderline last time you spoke. And tomorrow, Lukonga, yes, no, maybe? No. Mengi? Uh, maybe. Osho? No. Ogbeni? No. Adebayo? No. Bad, bare bones still then, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, we got, we got, what, we got around 11 or 12 out, you know, that's why so we were talking about it before, and you, you, you know, two uh, goalkeepers on the bench, five teenagers at, at Man City. Our back four consisted of a centre-back, a full-back and two wingers at Man City, you know, so... Um, we're hopefully, we're hopefully going to start to get into a stronger, uh, stronger shape. Everyone's doing everything they can to try and do that. Cast your mind back to just before your first ever Premier League game then. And if I offered you this position at 10, five games to go, you're a point off safety, you win this weekend, you'll be out of the bottom three. Would you have taken it? Uh, I think with the way things have gone, you know, we'd, we'd take this position. I think at the beginning, we knew it was always going to come down to these final five games, um, and to these last few. Um, so we're all right with that. We're cool with that. And we've spoken about that, honestly, as a group from the beginning of this week. Um, I don't think it was ever, you know, City was ever going to be, it wasn't going to be defining that one for us. But, but these next five will be, clearly. So we know how important all of these next five games are. And, uh, and our aim, I know this is going to be very difficult, and, you know, to to win all of them but our aim is certainly to pick up points in, in all of those games Does it help you as a manager that you've been in and around the sharp end in terms of the last couple of seasons going for promotion to Forest Green going for promotion to Luton the players have played in call it a cliche cup finals in, in league matches that they're used to pressure games at the end of a season I think you can you could say that and I think also the fact that we've we knew what fight we were going to be in from the very beginning as well so as I say we're, we're okay with it um, we're you know, we wanted to pick up more points, of course. Everything, every team, I think, can say they've left points out there at certain stages. So that's, you know, I'm not saying we should be on more or, or, or whatever, but what I've seen is a team that's grown in performance levels and has competed with the very best teams consistently throughout the season. And that makes me very, very proud. And the fact that we're going into these final five games now with, a, with as good a chance as anyone, um, yeah, fills me with a lot of confidence. And our supporters are are completely on board with us. You see that at the beginning and the end of every single game. I think that's where we're very special as well. You know, I don't think any other team can say it at the end of every game, home and away, supporters have been on their feet applauding. I don't think any other team can say that this season. And I know there's some brilliant supporters up and down the country of different teams, but, but our fans have been really special for us this year. And I do think that makes us quite unique in this situation. Is there a sense that some managers maybe would say, a week like this, the games you've got to come, you take the pressure off the players, but actually you also have to put it on a little bit. So, this is it now, this is your season. If you want to be a Premier League player again next season, 
this is it. Yeah, you're right. And you could have taken some of my meetings this week, Rob. Um, yeah, we've talked about that openly and that's fine. We put it on them at certain stages this season. They've responded well. We did that last season in big games and they've responded well. And the players are realistic. They can, they all know what's at stake now. They know the importance of these games. So there's no point hiding away from it then. Let's just make it bring out the best in us. Just a final one there in terms of expectation. A couple of games, particularly at home this season, where there has been an expectation for you to win. Burnley, Sheffield United didn't get the rock result. What do you need to do differently tomorrow to make sure you do? They were a long time ago. Our last home game we won. So go and take a lot of the confidence from that last home game. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, a few questions about Brentford, please. Um, in terms of their injuries, they had quite a lot of injuries this season, similar to yours as well. Obviously, they missed out on Ivan Donny for a long period of time. How impressed have you been with the way they managed to find solutions throughout this journey? Yeah, I mean, what they've done as a football club for a number of years now has been very impressive. Thomas, his staff, the whole club, you know, the players deserve a lot of credit for what they've done. They've, they've gone through a promotion and, and then grown into this into this league and, and have looked like a a really good team for a long time. I know they've had difficult moments this season, but you know, they've probably like us will look at games where they've left points out there at times. I think, you know, look at that performance against Manchester United recently and it doesn't look like a team that's struggling. Um so yeah, we realise how what we're coming up against. They're a very good team. They're um you know they they can they're pretty consistent as well. And um, they're a team that do the basic things very, very well, very well, as well as anyone. And they value that sort of stuff. So I've been really impressed in difficult circumstances of a, of a number of people and teams this year. Um, and obviously they're one of them. That was actually my next, my next question about how they operate as a club. They have a very unique um, a model that suits them. Is there a model that you think could work on here at Luton as well? Yeah, look, I think we've got quite a successful model as well. We've we've not done bad, have we? You know, in the last decade. So we do what we do, and and Brentford can obviously do what they do. We always get asked, that, you know, could you do them? Could you do them? We have to do what we do, and we do it pretty well. And hopefully, in years to come, they might be you might be asking other people, or looting a, an example for you. Um, we can't be Brentford. We can't compete with what they do either at the moment. So I don't think you know we we have to just be looting and be the best version of us that we can be. I want to ask about Thomas Frank. He's journey to become a Premier League manager been really unique as well. How much, in which way perhaps he inspired you? How impressed you've been with his journey to management? Yeah, I mean, it, since he went in at Brentford, I mean, he's been absolutely incredible, hasn't he? Very difficult start in terms of results when he first took the job, but the performance was good and the, the football club saw past the results and then he's just gone from strength to strength. Um, a brilliant coach. Um, I know he's a really good guy as well. I've had quite a few good conversations with him, you know, over this last couple of years. We played against them at Forest Green pretty early on in my um, my first year in management. We played them in the cup, and he was great after that game as well. I've got a lot of time and respect for for what Thomas has done, um, and I'm sure he's going to. Well, he already is a top manager. He's got, I think, you know, he's got the the top, the real top of the game in his sights. I'm sure. Five games left, despite the difficulties, the injuries. Yeah. What do you sense from their players in, in terms of their confidence level and also their mindset ahead of this huge task? Yeah, it, the, the lads' mindset's right there. You know, we've been good. We we had all these injury problems for for quite a while now, and to compete away at Tottenham the way we did away at Arsenal to pick up a really important win against Bournemouth, um, the lads have been great. Uh, last Saturday just proved too much against. You know, one of the best teams in the world. They um, they were too good for us on a day, but that's that game. We've almost been able to just go right. That's that's done. We had to go through it. We had to live through it, and um, and now we and we move forward. The, the players have been brilliant. We've had a really good training week, and um, yeah, we're really looking forward now to the next four weeks. It's a month, a month today, and it all it all ends, you know. And we don't want it to end for us in terms of the Premier League status. We we, we need to act now, and and, and um, along with performances, pick up the points. Thank you. Five games left. I know it's a difficult one. How many how many wins do you think? Well, how many points do you need? Is 35 going to be enough this year? I don't know. Five wins would be lovely. You know, it might give us a chance, but we know how difficult that is. It's difficult to say because I, I know I answer all the time. You know, we haven't got a crystal ball. We don't know what everyone else is going to do. A lot of us are playing each other throughout the next five or six games. We know, we, we know we've got to win some football matches. Um, but how many that is, we don't know. The home form, obviously, people are going to look at that and think, yeah. OK, 
can you get those three wins at home and then whatever you can away from home? Yeah, that, I mean, completely understandable. We've had, you know, every one of our games at home has been tight, competitive, hasn't it, in every game this season. So we know it probably represents our best chance of getting up, getting points. But of course, we go into the Wolves and West Ham games as well with with, a, with complete belief. Um, we obviously have to just focus on this game here tomorrow, which is at home against a really good team. But again, if we perform well in, like we did last time against Bournemouth, we, we know we can win. So the final five games, if you had to pick five, this wouldn't be far off it. I know you can't say that, but... The, the, the play- so you're saying it, but I can't... Are you saying it for me? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what you're saying I'm saying there. I'm not comfortable with what you're saying I'm saying. It's, there's five difficult games. They're all tough in the Premier League for us. Aren't they? They are, because you know what we won six all season, and we've played well in a lot of games and not won. So I, I mean, I wouldn't. Of course, I'm not going to say look, we would pick these five games, but they, um, you know, the next one, which is all we're, we're all we're focused on at the moment now, gives us an opportunity. And clearly, City away is a very difficult one. It's an opportunity, but we know how difficult that one is. Maybe this one tomorrow is a little bit more realistic. With all due respect to, to Brentford, it, it just is. You know, this group of players. When they have to do it, they sometimes do find a way, don't they? Is that, is that something you couldn't, you couldn't get home again? Yeah, I think like what we were talking about before, they've stepped up well when we put pressure on and, you know, in the past, since we've been here really, um, there's no more pressurised games than, than the running that we had the playoff games last season and then at times this year when we've really put it on and, and the last home game here against Bournemouth was, was like that. We put, put the pressure on and said, right, this is a, it's got to be a winning week. Um, you know, the, the lads responded. So um, that's our aim. Of course, it is. We can never guarantee it, unfortunately. But you know, the performance is what we're looking for. The hard work, the endeavour, matching um, matching Brentford is uh, you know in key areas, whether that's set pieces, second balls, and the basics that they do very very well. That's going to be key for us as well. The ones who've had to come in with all of the injuries because it's been a bit delayed for them. It was a bit like this at the beginning of the season with the other lot. It took them a while to adjust. Do you, do you see parallels with that? Um, no, I've, I've been really... N- not not really, because I, I mean, I look at that summer of performances and I think, I don't think we'd have been able to go and do what we did at Tottenham, you know, earlier in the season. Um, to, you know, to stay in the game and compete the way we did. I don't think we'd have had... I know we were 2-0 down against Arsenal, but the second half performance was incredible to take almost half the ball and... And to really limit them to stuff and, be, and perform really well. well. I don't think we'd be able to do that at the start of the season. And that's with loads of new players, like you say, coming in, people playing out of position. So I'm, that's the whole group that have improved, I think. Um, and I don't think we'd have won the game against Bournemouth like that uh, uh, early on. So, no, I think the whole group's shown massive improvement from the beginning of the season. I don't think anyone could have any doubts about that. And um, hopefully we can see more again tomorrow. Weekend to weekend, so you get a stretch of you know, days where you're not playing. The ones that aren't available tomorrow, do you foresee them filtering in as, as we kind of end the season? I hope so. We all do, and, and they do as well. They are giving everything. People are getting closer. You know, people are getting closer. But what we're obviously then, then there's people have been out for a number of weeks, and it's hoping people are up to the rhythm of it straight away as well. There's still an element of risk, but then they'll get to the stage where it's worth taking those risks as well because of, you know we're obviously running out of games. Final well, three matches, we've spoken about the atmosphere at the Kenny. It just, is it just going to keep getting a notch up every single time? Because that's what you're going to need. Well, as long as we're still in the fight, then I think it will do. I think there's no doubt about that. You know, the three home games, that's the last Saturday, three o'clock kickoff, I think, now that we're, that we're going to have this season. So I'm sure, you know, the, the atmosphere will be brilliant. We've got a Friday night under the lights against Everton, which is going to be... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll be all right. And, uh, and then the final game. And if we're still in the mix going into the final game, then of course it's going to be a, an amazing atmosphere. So I think we've got three special games, especially at home, to come as long as we're still in that fight. Just a final one for me. It's the incentive this weekend that because the other two play each other, you know that if you win, you will be outside the relegation zone with four matches to go. We, we know what a win tomorrow means. Um, but... Yeah, obviously then there's, there's still a long way to go, but of course we can't look past tomorrow, but we know what it represents for them going into their game on Sunday. Um, but, but all again we can focus on is, is ourselves. Um, it's a big game, I know that, we all know that. So it's, it's a really big game.
Hey, Rob. Um, Sorry, Moose. Obviously, um, get him a crumble. Get him a crumble, mate. <laughs> Obviously, you know, football mad looks really stressful because you probably leave. How much have you enjoyed the season? I've, I've loved it. I'm loving it. I love the pressure of it, the challenge of it. Um, it's brilliant and it's where we all want to be. And that's, you know, the lads included. And that's why we don't want to give it up. You know, we've, we've all worked really, really hard for a number of years to get here. Some of our players have, have worked their whole footballing careers, 10, 11 years of playing professionally to get here. They don't want to give it up. And, uh, and me the same, I've been coaching now for 11 years, it's taken me 11 years since I retired to get to this point. You know, I've worked really hard. I have, I've had a number of different jobs and, and I, I love it. I love this challenge. And um, yeah, we, none of us want to give it up easily. So we're gonna, we'll throw everything at it to, to make sure we're here next season. And you know, I think you said after the CM, yeah, it's sort of five cup finals. Uh, I guess the first one is keys. Do you feel like tomorrow is? I think tomorrow, I don't think it's must win, of course it's not. Uh, you know, I'll get to the stage where, it, well, it might, it might get to that stage, but we know, we recognise the importance of it. There's no doubt about that now. When we know it's business time, we must be getting results. We put that pressure on in the last home game when we were able to, to produce a really good performance, second, a brilliant second half performance and a win. So we know how important it is. It's not must win because it doesn't mean we're down if, we're, if we don't win tomorrow. But I take your point. We all recognise the importance of it tomorrow. Yeah, I guess Key obviously has got a lot of different strengths, but Key will be, I guess, stopping on Tony. Yeah, how do you go about doing that? Yeah, he's, I, I, he's, he's brilliant. It's not just him. They've got a number of threats, haven't they? And, and, and I won't go through all of them now, but they've got a lot of key players, I think, and especially on going forward, um, some really good threats. They've got a really effective way of playing that can be difficult to break down, but they can win in a number of different ways as well. Um, whether that's you know a, a counter attack, whether it's control possession, whether it's direct play, whether it's a set piece, you know they've got a lot of weapons. Clearly, Ivan Tony plays a huge role in that as well. He's a brilliant footballer, um, and since you know he's come back into it, he has scored goals and he's been a threat. You know, if he's fit and available again, which we're planning for, then yeah, we've got to make sure that we try and uh, nullify him as much as possible. Gomez, why is it must win tomorrow? Because, I mean, because we're not relegated if we don't win. No, I, I appreciate that, but if you're going to get somewhere near mid 30 points, Sally, you've got to pick probably up the nine you've got available at home. Yeah, but, but it's not necessarily going to go that way, innit? and football's quite funny. If we don't win tomorrow, we could, you know, we could go away from home and win at Wolves. We could do that. Um, so the pressure is on, and we've spoken about it, the importance of the game, but. It's not must win because what if we don't? You know, how am I going to then explain to the lads? Flipping it, lads. I, I was only no, I wasn't telling the truth last week. You know, it wasn't must win. This one now, now is against Wolves. You know, it, it, we all know the situation that we're in, um, and every game now is really important. You know, we're trying our best to win every single game. We tried our best to win against Man City, and and we'll, we'll do exactly the same. We've had a really good week's preparation, and uh, it, it, of course, it's important. Of course it is, but it's not must win. You mentioned earlier, twice I think actually, in different answers about the points you may have left on the pitch. Um, is that something that if you don't manage to make it this season, will eat away? Uh, there'll, all be, there'll always be sleepless nights if, um, if the worst was to happen. Um, but even if we stay up, I'll be still thinking about things that we could have done better and I could have done better, better decisions and things like that. But we've also had a lot of late goals that have got us points you know and last time at Kenilworth Road was a 90th minute winner um, we've had last minute equalisers and, and things like that as well so we've had our fair share of late goals that we've scored as well we've given everything and I'm comfortable in the knowledge that the players have given absolutely everything in every game till the end you know so um, that's that's something I am confident of The most comfortable game I've seen you play at home this season was when you started I've seen on fire against Brighton and then regards to as they scored late, it wouldn't have mattered. It's tomorrow not one of those, but you need to really start the We want to try and start fast and start aggressively. We try to do that in every game. That's always the message, to try and be on the front foot and impose ourselves in the opposition. Sometimes it's just the opposition are really good and they don't allow us to do that. Um, but we'll certainly try and start quickly and try and get the crowd involved and, and do all we, the things that we think are the right thing to, to try and win the game. Uh, that's always our message, you know. You can't always go 2 nil up in two minutes. Uh, it was pretty, a pretty special night, of course it was for us, but um, we want to try and start as positive, positively as we can, of course. You have had some real stars this season. I mean, I'm, I'm expected to pick out particular names, so I 
Ross Barkley, and I think Park Morris stepping up as, as captain. Yeah, look, we've had a number of players that have really stepped up, and they've been, you know, probably to the, to the outside world, maybe one or two have surprised people, but not in here. I'm just pleased that they've given a really good account of themselves and, and they're continuing to do so. Um, we had a lot of belief in this group at the beginning of the season that they could prove people wrong and show how good they are on the world stage. And, and a lot of them have done that. And uh, of course, you pick out Ross and Carlton then. Who, Ross, we all know the talent that, that he's got and he's shown it really consistently this year. And and Carlton, you're right, I think nine goals. I'm not sure how many assists, a lot of assists that he's got, but big performances as well. So, yeah, he's um, he's a big player for us. Outside of Luton fans, who obviously want to stay up, I think there's a lot of neutrals that you won over this season. How do you feel about that? Again, it's nice, and um, it's nice to hear people talking more positively about us now. And it's um, maybe at the beginning there was a, an opinion on us, but that's again down to the players' performances. I think the way that we've tried to go about um, every game, we've tried to be positive, we've tried to to do the things that we feel are right for us to win games of football. I think we've been exciting. There's been loads of goals. You know, um, it's a team that's trying to go for it and trying to win games of football. And it doesn't matter who it's against. You know, we've gone to Anfield and tried to press. We've tried to press the goalkeeper. We've, we've, we've gone for it. You know, one nil up at half time. You're thinking, hang on, can we do something special here? You know, at Anfield. And, and unfortunately, we, we weren't quite able to in the end. But we've had, um, I think, a lot of special games that a lot of our supporters will remember for a long, long time. But hopefully... You know, we stay in this league so we can give them a lot more going forward as well. Two more from me. First of all, I hope this doesn't come back to bite me tomorrow, but um, you've scored goals pretty much in every game, which normally struggling teams, that's the thing they really struggle for, to score goals. Has that kept you largely in the fight to stay out? Well, of course, yeah. I mean, um, we have got a goal threat and I think, I think again, that's due to how we played. I think we've because we've tried to be aggressive and tried to press. Our goal against Man City came from a you know a high pressing situation, forced a mistake. Ross scored a really good goal, so we we try to be you know the team I want us to be and the team that we think fits this group of players and the team that we want our supporters to uh, to be proud of to watch. Um, and obviously that's that then comes with a. A, a caveat, a balance that you've got to try and make of keeping them out the other end, which I've spoken a lot about as well in recent weeks. So um, it is difficult at this level to be able to keep clean sheets or keep it down to one and then still be, be the threat. But that's certainly what we're trying to do. But I think the fact that we have scored a number of, a number of goals, I think if you look over the last 20 plus games, we're up there with, with you know, right up there in terms of goals scored, uh, which is good. But of course, then you, you know to win games of football, you've got to be able to keep it out as well. And that's the, that's the balance we're still working on. The last one is back to cup replays. I know you've already spoken about it, but I think from the outsider's point of view, this is to make sure that teams are in Europe, I think you said, uh, that their, their workload isn't overly stretched. There's only six or seven teams that are going to be in Europe every season. And most of them will go on pre-season tours halfway around the world, or you know, here's a, a winter break, we'll go on a, a, a training camp somewhere abroad. I mean... Are we going to, why are we sacrificing, in your opinion, the best cup competition in the world just for a few who actually don't sit at home and rest anyway? Well, I'm not going to, I don't want to comment on the, the European clubs, but I, I, I do think the schedule now, because of the extra games, is almost impossible to actually do, to, to fit them in. I don't, I don't think it's actually possible. So I think that's why, the, you know, that's probably the rationale behind, behind it. I'm not sure there is any free weeks you know, beyond the, you know, once you get into January, I'm not sure how many free weeks there are for, for some of those teams. Um, so again, I don't know all of the, um, all of the reasons why, but I'm sure that's a pretty big one. But as again, again, I'll say, you know, manage Forest Green in, in League Two. Um, I completely understand what a replay would mean for for a smaller club in League Two, and and it did mean for Bolton, uh, you know, against us, you know, the extra revenue that it brought in in January for them uh, was important as well. Evo told me that. So I can understand both sides of it. Thanks, mate.